Hello Collective and welcome to the Origin Tarot. My name is Ben and I am here to do a reading for you. Let's give a good shuffle to the deck and see what energies we're dealing with. Present energies for the Collective, please. Please. we dealing with? Ace of Wands, Devil Energy. You could be taking some action in regards to some sort of toxicity. Negativity that you have been dealing with. Okay, let's see. Present energy, please, spirit. Okay, eight of wands and four of pentacles. There could have been some communication. some holding on to something. Under the deck we have the Five of Swords conflict or coming out victorious out of a conflict. Maybe there was communication coming your way but you withheld yourself because this was conflicting, aggressive. You just decided not to react. Could be in regards to a partnership of some sort. Maybe some some love relationship. Or there was a partnership that involved a cup of love. There may have been manipulation involved though, yes, yeah, some some heartbreak, some suffering, some pain. This conflict could have been in regards to some sort of wish fulfillment, some gaining of some sort of desires. But there was sadness involved. There's a pentacle being offered to you from the past. Let's see what is crossing this energy spirit. We have the Sun and the Eight of Pentacles. So, so there's something being revealed or there's some joy, some happiness in regards to some, some work, some project that you're working on. Yeah, you are investing on some sort of idea you're crafting something taking your time to learn and observe you're focusing your attention onto this pentacle maybe after a period of defeat or maybe after trials and errors you are Starting anew, starting over again. This could be cause for celebration or there's some group involved. Now I think you are celebrating your creativity, your abundance. Yes, there's an ace of cups. In regards to a community, an establishment, this could be work. Yeah, you could be dealing with some, or you are a boss. 
emperor and hierophant. Or this is something that you're working on by yourself, alone, isolated from others. Going within, Queen of Cups. What is at the heart of the matter spirit? So we have the chariot and the nine of swords. Moving forward, moving away from stress, despair, anxiety, sadness. Yeah, you may be moving away from a, a group of people from whom you're defending yourself from. Or you might be battered and bruised, worn out, but you're still standing strong. And this is leading you towards a victory, some sort of success, empress, creative abundance. Empress again. Maybe you're concerned about this movement forward because you're afraid that maybe these maybe mistakes of the past or trials and tribulations you're worried they could happen again. But this time you're moving steady, you're moving slow. You're carrying this pentacle carefully. Yeah, you've got a destination you're moving towards of happiness. Maybe you're turning your back away from these negative energies that you were dealing with. Recent past Please. You've gone within, Hermit and Queen of Cups. You've gone within to connect with your emotions, your inner dimension. You took your time to observe this world you have within. You've come, you've come out from your, your cave, the hermit's cave, and now you're able to offer what, what you have within your, this cup, you're able to, able to offer it and show gracefully high priestess. You may have connected to to the secrets that you held within. The mysteries of life. Giving and receiving from the heart. Strength, strength, double strength. You may have found the strength to move away from something that you were invested in. Emotionally, there are eight cups here that you are letting go of, you're moving on. You've given what you had to give, 
with balance. But it was time to move on. Yeah, again, Eight of Cups for this new beginning. Yeah, you're moving towards happiness. Yeah, what is known? Six of Swords. Moving away towards calmer waters. Slowly, in a stable manner. Becoming the Empress. We have this temperance. You're balancing your emotions, transmuting the energies, alchemizing. Yeah, you're finding stability. Emotional stability, total control. What's coming in the near future? You're letting go of what makes you sad, what's not needed anymore. You're focusing on the two of cups that are still standing. Or you are going to realize that you have these two cups that you can invest in. And five of wands, there's a bit of conflict. Or oh, there's five and five, it's, it's ten. That's a completion. So there's an end to sadness, an end to conflict. There's a judgment being made. A decision. Taking swift action towards your passion. Yeah, the fool. There's a new beginning starting for you. Could be a partnership, a new partnership, or a new, a new beginning within, within a partnership. It's manifesting. Or there's healing, some sort of manipulation and sneaky energy, sneaky activity. You're rejecting this manipulation, this toxicity of the devil. Okay, tell me more about your energy in regards to this. Hmm, you're suffering though, this pain. Three of Swords. You're trying to manifest love or healing. Again, Ace of Cups. In regards to a masculine, we've seen the Empress a few times. So if you are that Empress, there could be healing in regards to this Emperor, this masculine. Hierophant. There may be some news coming in in regards to some activity or establishment. If this is work, this could be a boss that was blocked or you, you were blocked from discovering something or from receiving this news. But it seems the moon, something is that was hidden, maybe coming to light, and it's coming in quickly. This is a wish fulfillment. The divine has made their decision to grant you a wish, to grant you healing. 
to heal this Three of Swords. Outside influences, who are you dealing with? Four of Cups, some sort of rejection. Maybe you were rejected or somebody Somebody rejected you or you rejected somebody. With this Queen of Swords, somebody may have been very harsh towards you. Harsh communication. Or there was some sort of juggling from this Emperor energy, this boss figure, this father, husband, masculine energy. Hmm. Nine of Wands, battered and bruised, but still defensive, defending what you have. There's a death, a transformation, and some offer coming in. Let's see, tell me more. Wishes and fears, wishes and fears you are hoping for this giving and receiving in a balanced manner, letting go of burdens or releasing burdens in regards to a queen of wands from whom you have to defend yourself. You're moving away to calmer waters. Yes, we saw that there. This could be giving and receiving in regards to a community, a job, an establishment, a business, a religious community. Somebody could be coming towards you to offer you some emotional message of some sort. What is the final possible final outcome? Wheel of Fortune. Change for the best. Maybe change, a change in this sort of mani manipulation, sneaky energy. It could have been a group of people being manipulative, trying to steal, cause pain, block this King of Wands. They may have been acting in secret, creating illusions, but there's a tower. Yeah, you're standing strong, defending yourself, but there's change coming. Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, Eight of Cups. You're moving away from this betrayal, this backstabbing. You're just leaving it all behind. Yeah, there's a nine of pentacles coming for you and you're going to find your stability, independence. You'll be able to rely on yourself and spirit with that hawk sat on her hand. You'll be happily 
independent and stable, protected and guided by spirit. Let's see, let's clar clarify a bit. could have been coming from a group of people from whom you withdrew you kept your emotions to yourself you went within Queen of Cups you were trying to figure out how could you bring this change and block block out all their attacks they didn't want you to move forward they were trying to keep you stuck maybe they were holding on to you there may have been some giving and receiving involved something in regards to finances about a death, a transformation, someone was locked out. Temperance, two of cups, three of swords, three of pentacles, ten of pentacles. You may have been balancing out, alchemizing your emotions, trying to find serenity within a partnership or partnerships in general. Or this could be your internal alchemization between feminine and masculine energies to heal the pain. Three of Pentacles and Ten of Pentacles of the Sun. Oh, um, inheritance. This could be family security, family finances. Something coming to light. These people, this three of cups, they could have been collaborating to cause some pain. You could be this angel, earth angel. Tell me more about this Three of Cups. Who are these people? Have the Star and the Ace of Cups. All your dreams are coming true. Open your heart to receive the emotions around you. of one's conflict oh okay so they wanted to create conflict for 
this star and ace of cups that was that's coming your way you could have been creating arguments these eight of ones coming your way from which you restricted yourself from you wanted to create struggles in a conflict for you they were in some kind of competition rivalry they didn't like the opportunities that you were moving towards yeah because you decided to walk away so crossing this energy we have the sun and the eight of pentacles so you being happy working on something yeah wish fulfillment and hanged man so if you were are moving towards this nine of cups wish fulfillment satisfaction happiness this optimism and trust in the universe that it's going to provide everything that you need they wanted to create a block for you make you wait, hesitate suspending you from achieving this this nine of cups They might have been doing this in secret with the moon. Okay, so at the root of the matter, we have the chariot cards moving towards the victory and the nine of swords. So, gaining victory over this anxiety, this worry. You have the sun, finding joy, finding happiness, success. Moving towards positivity instead of remaining in this anxious, stressed out energy. With the Seven of Swords, could they have wanted to create burdens for some sort of partnership that you have? some collaboration Sun and Queen of Wands and the Ace of Truth, Ace of Swords Defending your stability with this happiness energy. You're focusing on your creativity, on your warmth, on your passion, your enthusiasm in regards to what you're creating with this Eight of Pentacles. Okay. Recent past, please, spirit. OK. 
Okay, there was some slow movement forward. You went within, connected with your emotions, your subconscious. You may have received messages through dreams, guidance. You took a methodical approach to the matter. You're very patient and responsible. Yeah. Slowly moving towards this truth, this victory over the mind so that you could overcome these conflicts, this struggle, this rivalry that was coming your way. You took time out, time to rest, rejuvenate, restore yourself. You took time to reflect and meditate. And the answers came to you. In regards to ending this cycle of Ten of Swords of Betrayal. There may have been a lot of arguing, fighting, words said, harsh words. But you went within and you found this balance within you, yes, your inner happiness. To finally, finally just close all this off. And whatever was coming your way with this Eight of Wands, you just closed yourself off. You kept quiet, you stayed silent with the High Priestess. She doesn't reveal what she knows, what she feels. Only when she wants to. So, crowning the reading, we have the Six of Swords. Moving away from all of this towards Karma Waters. Anything about that? Yes, you're moving into the Empress energy. Creativity, abundance, caring, giving, happy and fertile, connected to nature, to the divine. And I saw this, the Knight of Swords, you're doing that quickly. Very fast movement towards this Empress energy. Now, in the near future, we have the Five of Cups and Five of Wands. We said five and five is ten. Ten is completion, a completion to this emotional sadness and this conflict of ideas, arguments, struggle. Competition. Tell me more, please, Spirit. Yep. Eight of Cups moving away. Queen of Cups focusing on your inner, your emotions, your inner dimension, your imagination. Compassionate, calm, receptive. And strength, you're finding the strength within, your confidence, your passion, you're realizing how much courage you have. We have the King of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. Okay, so you could be entering a position where you will be very financially stable. Solid, steady, reliable, providing. And you could be using your talents to do so. Finding balance within your life. 
building your success, using your capabilities, adapting to change, the change of circumstances, We did say 5 and 5 is 10, here is a 10. It has ended and finished for better or worse. Then we saw the page of cups come up with these cards. Don't let your emotions get in the way. So you could be overcoming this energy of defeat, betrayal, insolence coming from this group of people with sweetness and gentleness, being reflective, self-exploring, listening to your intuition and being sensitive and kind to yourself. Maybe this is the talent you have. Yes, you're taking this action on your ideas, on your creativity, you're expressing it. And now these people may be, may be sad. Sad that they were harsh with you, that they caused pain, caused you to just move on towards your own victory, leaving them behind. Now, we do have the Three of Swords in your energy here. So, of course, if you cared for these people, you may have felt a great, a great deal of pain because of all of this. And you still may do. Are you feeling pain? Hermit, this could have caused you to go within. To hide, hide your emotions. We have the world, or you are ending this isolation. You are ending this pain. You have gained wisdom throughout all of this experience. Inner truth, some sort of enlightenment. You've entered a new phase, a new cycle of stability and independence. You realize that you don't really need all of this negativity coming your way in your life. You just let it go, let it be. That's how you find happiness. They may be mentally trapped now. Five of Swords in conflict with themselves. Yeah, the justice is to let them go, leave them behind. That's what they did to you, probably. Could be some messages coming towards you in regards to justice, tr truth, Clarity. Take action on your ideas. Life is, is moving ahead. Take action on your ideas. This may be causing some kind of worry though. Because it's transforming everything you knew. It's coming to an end. Whatever you're starting is going to be completely transformative. So you're trying to figure out, learn how to proceed cautiously. 
with a strategy maybe, if this is in a positive way. Or it's their energy, they're spying, watching you from a distance, trying to understand how can they tiptoe themselves back in again. Maybe using memories from the past. Oh, why did you reject us? <sighs> when they were the ones that turned their back on you. It's like, yeah, the wheel is changing. The wheel is turning. Before it was them, now it's you. Outside influence, we have the Four of Cups. So either they rejected you, you rejected them, or... I mean, if the table are tables are switching, now it's your turn, right? But I think they are the ones that rejected you. Aries, energy, emperor, war, conquest, victory, strife, ambition. Control. Maybe they rejected you because they wanted some control. They wanted some sort of victory, movement forward. Or their movement forward is being blocked quickly. By maybe your victory again, the Wheel of Fortune. Whatever offer they may come in trying to give, you're going to be very defensive. And you're going to be focused on your work, your idea, you're going to be closed off. You're holding on to your, to your, to yourself. You won't, you won't let go. You won't let them come in. You won't give them that space. Now, wishes and hopes. We have the Six of Pentacles, so a wish of giving and receiving and balance in a balance, balanced way. Two of Swords. This is being blocked. Or they may be asking to for you to give them something and you are blocking this. You will refuse. This will make them mad. Devil energy. This wheel of fortune and the possible outcome. Lovers, partnership. Clear communication. This is Mercury energy, right? Gemini. Clear communication, express what's best for you, for all. Intelligent, quick, complexity, graceful, observant and perceptive. Queen of one, a queen of swords. And the lovers, it says, celebrate the love in your life. So, yeah, there is some change a death to the this worry and anxiety yes thanks to this new beginning that you're you're taking action on something that you're working on and all of 
the bad stuff, it's being removed. There's a death to all of all of the negativity. Finito. Ciao. <laughs> bye bye. King of Wands. A visionary successful, a leader. You have the power, you have the will, you have the courage. Temperance. Moderation, tranquility, serenity. You're alchemizing everything and transforming it all to your to your advantage. Let's see. King of Swords. We could have Archangel Michael looking over you. Or there could be some authority figure involved. And they could be entering a, a moment, a stage, a period of imprisonment. And the star. Wish fulfillment. This could be involving family, yeah, with that four of wands. Okie dokie, I think we gained a bit of an idea. So, good thing is, you have kept to yourself, you have blocked out these attacks, these attacks, these, uh, this conflict coming your way, this rivalry, competition, you've just blocked it all out, kept quiet, kept to yourself, focused on what you needed to focus on, your work, whatever makes you happy and fulfills your, your wishes. You're moving towards victory, the sun, happiness, this emotional energy of sadness is ending. You're entering into a prosperous period with this king of pentacles, probably the result of what you've been working on. You may have to, yes, deal with some pain still, but you do that by going within, meditating, and transmuting negativity into positivity. They are just going to have to deal with the rejection that they caused you. And maybe now it's their turn because you're blocking out any toxicity. Any devilish energy, no thank you. Let's see a last card for this change. Okay, quick action towards yeah, the swift transformation. This could be inspiration, it says here, yeah? Motivation, love. Action, commitment, choices, unity. So this fast movement towards that, which is turning the wheel for you. Okay. Do we want guidance? A little message of guidance for the collective. Oops. From scripture. Let's see. For the collective, please.
Okay, let's take the first ones of what came out. I have no greater joy than to hear that my children are walking in the truth. And behold, I will bring to it health and healing, and I will heal them and reveal to them abundance and security. He heals the brokenhearted and binds their wounds. That's beautiful, because we do see that you do have a broken heart here with the Three of Swords. And know that uh, the Lord will bring it health and healing. He will heal them and reveal to them abundance and security. Which is basically the summary of the entire reading. And know that the Lord has no greater joy than to hear that your, the til his children are walking in the truth. Okay, so thank you very much for being here. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like, share and subscribe. This will help with the growth of the channel. If you need any more information, you can find it available in the description box below and on the website, theorigintarot.com. I think that's it for now. Thank you so much for being here again. See you at the next reading. My name is Ben and this was The Origin Tarot. Ciao. Bye bye.